So it's Comic-Con, and uh, what would Comic-Con be without a Batman v Superman trailer? And uh, let's be honest, it's probably the one we've all been waiting for, and it doesn't disappoint. So it starts with Superman being called into court regarding the actions and infliction from Zod's attack from Man of Steel. There is already a divide where people are frightened of him or look at him as a saviour like a god. Um, the, then there's the collapse of a building where you can clearly see a red blast cutting through um, the Wayne Financial Building. My guess is this is obviously from the aftermath which was the end of Man of Steel. So the film looks to take place at both Gotham and Metropolis. To me, it looks as if Superman has been blamed for the circumstances surrounding the Wayne building, whether it be directly or indirectly. Bruce, however, feeling guilty of the Wayne Tower collapse and his inability to do something about it sparks anger and bitterness as it's clearly shown in the trailer. Alfred narrates how good men turn cruel, which I can only gather is directed at Bruce himself as he rages from the loss he has had to deal with. Um, Batman then comes out of retirement and goes on a cruel vigilante spree which gets noticed by the Daily Planet, from which a Clark Kent now is an employee who takes an interest in Batman's spree. There's interesting dialogue as Lois reassures Superman that a figure like him gives humanity hope, whereas Martha warns him of people's lack of understanding and to be what he wants the world to see him as, a saviour, angel or monument, or be none of it as you owe this world nothing. Now that reiterates a state of mind of where Superman is regarding Batman v Superman. And I think that's an interesting concept because obviously he's not sure whether or not he wants to continue to be the saviour of humanity. Lex has the body of Zod, and my guess is to extract the DNA to make a villain who can surpass Superman. Again, only a guess, but that would probably be Doomsday. The guilt and bitterness is shared once you see an old Robin suit, although we don't know which one. However, Robin's demise comes from the hand of the Joker. This could be something that is reflected in Suicide Squad. It's almost like Alfred can tell between the lines and know Superman is not responsible or their enemy. Lex has probably manipulated Bruce in combining resources from Wayne Enterprises with LexCorp to find a way to rid Superman after the collapse of the Wayne building. He also starts to manipulate people further within authority for his own gains, creating a bigger divide between the people and Superman, giving Bruce stroke Batman the excuse he needs to rid him. Wonder Woman can now clearly be seen in action, and I think most people agree she looks absolutely fantastic. Although we're not clear on her role, my suspicion is she is likely to be the voice of reason. However, there is no sign of Aquaman or the Flash Batman is then wearing armoured gear as he takes on Superman and the face-to-face -face is clearly the calm before the storm. I think all fans were hesitant of the DC Universe, especially after the first trailer. However, I have to say they have delivered and um, it will put many fans at rest that Zack Snyder and Warner have treated the property with the care it deserves while giving what the fans are craving for, which is the start of the Justice League. So, what did you think of the trailer? Comment below and I will see you next time.